Let's pretend we have a five kilogram block of ice moving down a hill of ice at an incline of 20 degrees. So what we need to do is find the acceleration for this block of ice. So we'll be using Newton's second law at uh, force equals mass times acceleration for this problem. But it's going to be a little bit harder since we now have an inclined plane. So our reference frame is going to be tilted a little. So first let's draw in the forces that are going to be exerted on this 5 kilogram block of ice. And first of all we have our downwards pull of the earth, which is always going to be mass times gravity. And then we have the normal force that the inclined plane is going to be exerting on the block of ice. So our force diagram is basically going to look kind of like this. And this one's the normal force. So we'll be making a new um, reference frame to line up with the normal force. So this part is going to be a little confusing. So I don't blame you if you rewatch this part over again a couple of times. So this force is going to be parallel with this side of the ice hill. And we know that from geometry class, since these two lines are parallel and we have an intersection, these two angles are going to be equivalent to each other. What we're also going to do is draw in the lines for our new reference frame. So that is going to be our new reference frame. And as you can see here, our MG forms the hypotenuse of a new triangle. So this is going to be the new triangle with one side of it being lined up to the now the new Y axis of our new reference frame. So obviously this is going to be 90 degrees. So now that we have our new triangle, we also see that this um, our new x-axis is also parallel to the hypotenuse of our ice hill. So since these two lines are parallel, these two angles, this one and this one, are also going to be the same uh, size. So we can also see that another angle forms, I mean an another triangle forms here. So this is going to be an angle of 90 degrees. We have this angle and then 20 degrees. So we know that these two angles have to add up to 90 degrees because all triangles uh, have angles that add up to 180 degrees. And we also know that this is all already 90 degrees. And we also have here that since these two axes are perpendicular, this angle plus this angle has to add up to 90 degrees as well. So since these two angles are the same, then that means these two angles must also be the same. So this angle right here is going to be 20 degrees. So we have our MG here, and this is the new triangle that we drew out. And we have our 90 degrees, because this side is going to be parallel to our new x-axis. So we said that this angle is equal to the incline, which is 20 degrees. Okay, so now that is very valuable because now we'll be able to solve for the x and y components of our mg, or the force that the earth is exerting on the ice block. This would be our y component, and this would be our x component on our new um, reference frame. So to get our y component, we'll need to use cosine because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is what we're solving for, the y component. So the cosine of 20 degrees is equal to the y component over our hypotenuse, which is mass times gravity. So we said that the mass is five kilograms, so times 9.8, which is G. So we're going to have uh, 49 be this. So basically our Y component of our force of, grad, uh, force of the earth pulling down on the ice block is going to be Mg times the cosine of 20 degrees. So mg, as we said earlier, is 49. So 49 times the cosine of 20 degrees is about 
uh, 46. So our y component is going to be about 46 newtons. But we don't need the y component for this problem because remember we're solving for the acceleration of the block sliding this way down the hill, not this way. It's actually not even moving at all along this vertical axis. So what we really need to find is the x component of our mg force. So we'll be able to do that with sine instead of cosine. The sine of this angle is going to be opposite, so our x component over the hypotenuse. So sine of 20 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is also 49. So when we multiply 49 on both sides, we get that the x component is equal to 49 times the sine of 20 degrees. And that gives us about 16.8 newtons. So this is equal to 16.8 newtons. And that also gives us our net force going in this direction. So we can plug this into our net force. So we have 16.8 equals mass, which is 5 kilograms times acceleration. And so we divide both sides by 5 to get that our acceleration is 16.8 divided by 5, or 3.36 meters per second squared.